students last class we have seen clinically used macrolides this class will see the degradation of macrolides that is the degradation of erythromycin we have seen the main limitation of erythromycin that is it is acid unstable so because of that it forms internal cyclic ketal and causes gi cramping now we'll see how it causes internal cyclic ketal so this is the structure of erythromycin a so we have known if it is a macrolide that is having three parts that is the macrocyclic lactone ring and ketone ketone and glycosidically linked sugars so it is a 14 membered lactone ring and having two ketone groups one at no, one another at nine and having two sugars this is called l cladinose that is attached in third portion and this is d desosamine that is attached in the fifth portion so uh, already we said it is acid unstable for acid unstability uh, the groups responsible are the hydroxy group present in sixth position ketone present in ninth position and the hydroxy group present in twelfth position so these three groups are responsible for acid instability okay now this erythromycin no in aqueous acidic medium it undergoes acid degradation that is it forms intramolecular cyclization on intramolecular cyclization what happens here we have the oxygen no so here this hydrogen hydrogen present in the 12th position so the hyd um, hydroxy group present in 12th position no from that hydrogen is going and combines with the oxygen in ninth portion so because of that the double bond would be converted to single bond and to satisfy the valency of this carbon and 12th carbon there may be formation of this one that is a formation of hemiketal one though so these two carbons are connected by means of oxygen and forms a hemiketal so this is called erythromycin a 12 9 hemiketal now this one undergoes degradation on degradation what happens here we have an OH no that OH combines with hydrogen present in sixth portion of hydroxy group so that may be removal of one molecule of water and to satisfy the valency of these two carbons that is carbons in ninth and sixth now that two are connected by means of this oxygen and we are getting spiroketal derivative so what is the name 6 9 9 12 spiroketal derivative otherwise called anhydro erythromycin Now this erythromycin no, uh, simply in acidic mediums uh, that is in the presence of glacial acetic acid what happens uh, here there may be formation of one new bond between 8 and 9 so and also um, here these two carbons I mean uh, 6th and 9th would be connected by means of this oxygen so there may be formation of hemiketal and also formation of one double bond that is why it is called as 8-9 anhydro erythromycin 6-9 hemiketal so this is the internal cyclic ketal this is responsible for GI cramping now this one on hydrolysis in the presence of dilute hydrochloric acid here again same as the top of the earlier one there may be formation of spiroketal derivative so say, uh, directly we are getting 6 9 9 12 spiroketal derivative that is called anhydro erythromycin so erythromycin in aqueous acidic medium with us we are getting erythromycin a 12 9 hemiketal on dehydration we are getting anhydro erythromycin that is otherwise is called 6 9 9 12 spiroketal derivative if it is in acidic medium that is in the presence of glacial acetic acid we are getting internal cyclic ketal that can be called 8-9 anhydro erythromycin 6-9 hemiketal that on hydrolysis we are getting anhydro erythromycin. So already we have seen the sorry the macrolides of erythromycin class no they are chemically unstable so in acidic medium it forms internal cyclic ketal in GIT and causes GI cramping in some patients and that is leading to anhydro erythromycin that is an inactive one that is the spiroketal derivative that is an inactive one now we'll see how can we avoid the ketal formation already we said there are three groups uh, they are responsible for the formation of ketal they are hydroxy group present in sixth position and the ketone in ninth position and the hydroxy group in twelfth position here this is the major one responsible for that ketal formation that is hydroxy group present in sixth position so that can be replaced by means of methoxy group if uh, if it is replaced the ketal formation or the internal cyclic ketal that would be reduced and there may be less cramping and it would be more lipo lipophilic and we are in with uh, better plasma levels the example for that one would be clarithromycin or we can increase the size of the ring 
up to 16 membered example for that would be azithromycin or by using entry coated tablets or finally we can use modified derivatives of erythromycin already we have seen modified derivatives of erythromycin one is uh, we can get uh, salts of acids of dimethyl amino group in desosamine so desosamine is having dimethyl amino group that one would be converted to salts by means of these acids what are they one is um, that is d glycero d glucoheptanoic acid from that we are getting glucoheptonate or glucosepate or by means of lactobionic acid we are getting lactobionate by means of a stearic acid we are getting stearate so these three we are getting from on the acid salts okay and next one is ester desosamine is having hydroxy group in second position that would be converted to ester so what are the esters we are getting we can get ethyl succinate or propionate that can be available as lauryl sulfate salt otherwise estolate so next class we'll see the essay of macrolides